Hi guys, I am super excited to do some art with you today. We're gonna do two projects. The first one, um, for the first one, we're gonna need canvas panel or canvas. If you don't have it, you can uh, use some poster board. That's fine too, it will work. Um, paint palette some acrylic paint. I also have this metallic, so the colors are going to be more radiant. And I have some paint brushes, some flat, round, fan brushes. Um, and um, we're going to need some lids. So we're going to need four lids, I would say. Uh, I'm gonna use four. That's for the first project. For the second project, um, we're gonna need a toilet paper roll. So that, that's gonna be our little box that we're gonna make. Um, some ribbon. And the most important for the second project is a rock. Yeah, we're gonna do a rock painting. <laughs> That was, I think, our favorite project in Lily Bay last year. So I decided, why don't we, right? Um, so we're gonna have a lot of fun together. For the second project, we're also gonna use acrylic paint. Um, make sure that you have some paper on the desk um, so it won't be dirty. I also have some water to spray my canvas. That rock has to be clean, so I'm gonna wash it right now. And uh, it has to dry before we will start with the second project. So now it's perfect time to go and wash it. My rock is drying right now. And I am ready to start with the first project. So we're gonna start by mixing some colors. And for that project, as I said, you need some mm, lids. Put them in, um, in an order that you like. Um, some of my lids are bigger than the others, some are smaller. So I, I'm just going to change the angle to show you what I am doing right now, okay? Okay, after we traced the circles, we are ready to start mixing the colors that we're going to use. Think of the colors that you would like to use to color those uh, inside of those circles. I am going to use this metallic silver for at least one of my circles.
right now we are going to paint the circles inside of the circles um i got some water to make sure that the brush is wet but i don't want it to be too wet um, as you know acrylic paint is not going to uh, wash off so if you feel like you can uh, make some mess uh, put an apron on or just wear some clothes that can be ruined um, yeah let's start um, so we're painting let me show you we're painting the insides of the circles my first circle and as you can see it doesn't exactly look like the lid uh, it's all good if it's outside of the edges that we traced don't worry about it we are going to do some magic What are we going to do right now? We're going to let it dry for a little bit. So while it is drying, and I'm sure it's not going to take too long, we are going to paint our rock. So think about the color you would like to uh, paint on your rock. And also, just letting you know, this part is a total freestyle so if you want to paint a vega logo if you want to write something on your rock feel free to do that i am going to paint some flowers on my rock and if you would like to do the same thing thing sorry if you would like to do the same thing uh feel free uh it's just basically Whatever you want to do. It's, art is mostly about creativity and not about following somebody. So if you want to paint your rock differently, <laughs> of course you can do that. Um, just please remember that the paint we are going to use is acrylic. It's the same that we used for the canvas. Um, why do we have to use acrylic for uh, our rock painting? Because the tempera paint is not, the color is not that solid. So if you want to paint your rock and then uh, follow the tutorial on how to make a little teeny tiny box out of a toilet paper roll, just um, follow me. Um, but if you want to create um, different pattern on your rock but still um, keep it maybe in the garden or maybe you want to um, have it at home um, acrylic paint is better because it's not going to fade away or if you're going to keep it in the garden as I said um, it's not going to wash off so just basically that I am going to paint my rock um, wait what color do you want to use well, I think white. Yeah.
so it is almost dry we can put all the lids back on our canvas and we can start with the next step paintbrush black acrylic paint we are going to paint the whole picture except the part where the lids are so I'm just gonna keep doing it and I'll show you when it's done. It seems like the painting is almost ready. I'm saying almost because I want to use a fan brush. You can use any brush, but I have some leftover paint. Uh, so I think that we can do some splatter paint, right? Let's use some leftover paint to decorate let's reveal the art we've created are you guys ready okay and i'm sorry for holding it with my hands i i'm not a youtuber this is actually my first video longer than one minute so yeah look let me turn the light on so you'll see better does it look the same or different i would love to see what you have made send it to me there will be an email in the description please i would love to see it also um i'm gonna make sure that you guys are gonna have a shout out during the announcement. So yay, that's our first project. Let's move on to the second one. Hi again. I'm ready to paint a rock. Are you guys ready? We are going to mix some colors because it would be too easy to use purple. So we are going to mix red with Blue. Always put a little bit more red than blue. Let's mix it now. So we're gonna draw a few lines using green color. I don't know if you guys have noticed at camp, I'm left-handed. <laughs> yeah, a few lines. I don't know if how many you want. I'm making three. Okay. Now we are gonna use the same small brush um, and We're gonna do some tiny little dots. On the top of it. Okay, my first flower is ready. Let's do the rest of them. All right, so mine is done. Now we're going to make a, a little box in case you want to give it to someone. So for that, we are going to use a toilet paper roll and a ribbon. 
I'm gonna quickly clean up over here before we will start because I don't want the paint to dry and we're not gonna use paint anymore. So if you are at the same point as I am, go clean your paint palette, clean the brushes, make sure that everything is clean before we will start. And during your cleanup, your rock will dry. It's pretty dry. So this is a really quick gift box <laughs> that you can make. Uh, and for that, we're gonna squeeze this part up here and then the other side we're gonna do the same thing so it will look like this then the other side The box is ready and for some of us it's still a toilet paper box <laughs> so to decorate it we're gonna use some ribbon cut it as long as you want I cut mine this long so I can make a little tiny bow uh, on top of it just Tie it around. It can also be tied on the other side. Let me show you both ways. So it can be tied here and then make a bow or I am doing it the other way. Just wanted to let you guys know that I miss teaching arts so much and I am very sad that I cannot be at camp. I wear my camp t-shirt uh, very often and I really wish I could do it in person, not only online with you guys. And I miss you so much. I just wanted to say it, so yeah, that's the ribbon on the box. And now it's ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching, for following the tutorials. And I really can't wait to see what have you guys made and if you have done different projects please send them to me too i am very very excited to see what have you done thank you guys so much thanks again miss you <laughs>